Hello. Everything that we said for the first five minutes there was not heard because I had my microphone inadvertently muted, not purposefully muted. So, boys and girls, if you did not know, if you are in the regular OBS, 24.3, whatever, and you click on the eyeball for your microphone, it will mute it. <laughs> did not did not realize. Okay, well, that's okay. Learning. That's what this whole thing is about is learning. We're learning. Anyways, hi. Hi, everyone. Um, as I was trying to say earlier, uh, we are doing a practice stream right here today uh, because we want to make this more of a common more of a commonality in the upcoming year of 2020. By the way, happy New Year's to everybody. Hope you all had a good one. Didn't get too drunk. Aren't super hungover. If you did, you know, I totally understand. But, uh, you know, it happens. It's okay. Let's see. I should, uh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this. I'm going to shut down my phone really quick. Go back into Twitch. I want to see just how low latency it is compared to what it was before. So I'm going to loop my circles. Ooh, freaky. And... At least the frame rate's looking nice. Yeah, there's like 10 seconds. 10 seconds or so. <clears throat> It's lower latency. It's not perfect low latency. Either way, nonetheless, getting back to what I said, or was trying to say, we are looking to make streaming a more commonality because it is our goal to try and have something out for our comic this year and actually produce it. If that means like we concentrate especially on the summer when things are a little bit more time friendly, then we'll do it. But uh, in the meantime, we're going to do this to try and help with our inspiration and our direction and all that other good stuff. So we are going to be streaming more often. We're going to be picking days on when best to stream. And in the meantime, while we do that, we're going to be practicing this to benefit the stream. Okay, so, now that we got that all set up and we got things all fixed, I have eaten, my D key's being funky again. I gotta find out how to clean a particular key in the mechanical keys because it seems to not go off when I press it sometimes. Side banter, though. Anyways, um, Spyri's working on a couple things to help benefit our stuff. We uh, just got music set up for it. Um, we're trying on a couple other things, too. Now I have some knowledge. I'll keep that in mind for later. <clears throat> Distractions. Yay. Anyway, let's get our game on, right? That's what we came here to do. Let's get our game on. I'll just have to live with the my D key turning right being funky occasionally. Okay. Oh, we got a new viewer. Hello. Hello, person. Hi, Divine. Divine Zero. There we grab go. Grab a transport at the hitching post there. That then was you'll weird. be able to reach the <clears throat> other side of the river. How you doing, Divine? Everything going cool? Definitely grab that. Oh, this D key is going to be the de death of me today, isn't it? Okay. Well, we got the shift problem taken care of. All right. Let's get going. Oh, he spotted me.
touch the fireballs. Yeah, I'm glad you came over. I was just asking if people wanted to watch. We're doing some fixes up today. Testing stuff. Ow, I keep getting hit. All right. Where is my Healy stuff? I don't want to use that yet. Here we go. Put one of these down. That's a good hit. Man, you're gonna go walk away. Now we. Oh, that's the tail. <sighs> Stunned. No. Okay, good. He didn't do the beam attack. That would have killed me, probably. Okay. Yeah, I see you slapping. No. Oh. Should have just used my um, stun move. I really got to time stuff with this attack, with this weapon rather. Why are you interrupting my stuff? Stop it! That's annoying. the tail. Ah. Put that away. Ow. Don't step on me. No, the explosions. I just healed two. That's annoying. There's a chop. Another choppies. One more choppies. One more. Yes! Give me your face. No! Jerk! Jerk! Oh, and I'm stunned. God darn it. Give me up. Alright, well, may as well use a mega potion now. At least I'll be smart about it this time. I'm going to use the big potions first and then turn the smaller potions into big potions. Choppies. A little bit closer. Oh, that's a hit. That counts. Nope, that doesn't count. Uh... Ow. Right. Oh, come on. He's backing up on me. Don't do that. That's not cool. That's not cool, man. I don't care if you're enraged. Not as big of a hit as I wanted, but that works. Yep, there's the laser beams. Now you're starting that business, huh? I really should get closer to him. No, stop that. Ow. It looks complex. It's not that complex. It's only more difficult because I'm using a weapon that is heavy damage, but really slow. It's actually a lot of fun. You can get some really fast weapons that uh, aren't as difficult. <clears throat> the trick is just... Oh, God. Oh, I was just out of... Ow. Okay. I knew that was going to happen. I was like, no, no, maybe I can dodge it. Oh, no. Oh, good. He hit the cat, not me. Wake me up. Oh. Nope. Okay. 
more drink. Oh. Ah, I missed. No. No. Oh, no. I'm dead. I've s I somehow lived. Okay. I thought that beam was going to kill me. I could have sworn that that... Ow. Give me more chalky milk. I missed the last hit. Uh, of course, he had to move. It is notorious that this game likes to cheat when you're about to do the big hits. That's fine. I'll hit your tail. I don't mind. Give me. That works too. Yes. Oh, he's going in enraged mode for sure now. He's not happy. Oh, boy. Mm, jump. <sighs> Dodge. And I got to look out for glowy floors. No puppy. Go away. Bad puppy. I should drink an energy drink. Nope. Well, I just wasted that. Technically. I need to get more, uh... Oh, stop that. I hit. And I'm on fire. And I'm on fire again. That's not good. health quick. I need to use my... Oh, good. Okay, cool. You figured it out. Awesome. Good job, honey. More choppies. Give me some more choppies. Yes. One more big hit. Hit that tail. Yes! 200 damage. Nice. I gotta work on getting that tail off. I missed. Ow. And I'm on fire. That's not good. Ooh, he's running this way. No, stop that. Oh, sure, right in the middle of that. Uh, I can make... Nope. Ooh, I dodged that. Okay, uh, I need to make more Mega Potions, so... And seven. Oh. I missed that, thank goodness. There we go. Now that I'm back to full. No! You jerk! Ow. I do not- Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to be on fire. No! You're gonna kill me. I'm dead. Ugh. 
stun is the bane of my existence. I do need more food, so let's just go with this. No. Any more attack? Okay. I need to replace some items. Oops, wrong one. Item box. There we go. No point in having that. No point. No point in having that. Um, what else do I need? I do need that. I don't really need that, but... What else? What else? I can't use Kelby Horn's Adamant Pill. That's more defense, so that's good. I could... I could use one of those. Um, Ancient Potion. I definitely need one of those. That will max me out. What else do I need? I would get some of these, but there's no point in really having it. I need a fireproof mantle. Yeah, I think the fireproof mantle will help me. Unless there's like a... I don't think I have a dragon one. Oh, dragonproof mantle. Okay. I'll put that on. That should help with some of the damage. I'm doing pretty good, though, against fire there, so... Yeah, it's... it's uh, I just saw your message there. It's a lot like Dark Souls. It's not so much technical, but it, it rains on the same aspects. Ugh! You gotta dodge within certain windows, but with this one you can get stunned, you get CC'd, or crowd controlled. Certain things will stop you from doing it, like if they roar or if they uh, hit the ground and it shakes and you start to stumble. So they have mechanics to make themselves survive, just as you have mechanics to make yourself survive. Yes, give me those rations. Those will help. I can get my energy back faster. Now then, um, where's that adamant pill that I just... Ancient potion, there we go. Let's go max. Put that back. So... See, when he roars like that, a lot of monsters will have that. If I have a move called earplugs, I can ignore that. But I don't have enough equipment or gear to max out on earplugs. That's going to explode. Yep, I recognize that move. You're going to do another one of the exploding moves, aren't you? Yep. And then fall through the floor and explode. Nice. Wait for that tail. There we go. There's a small little hit. Teeny tiny fireballs. also cool about this game is that you can break certain parts of the enemy. Oh, he's doing his enrage mode. Oh, that's the explosion. No. Get out. Okay, I'm just outside of it. That's good. do I need? I need you. That'll give me some protection for a little bit. Let's heal up a little bit. And I used all my stamina. Oh, come on. I timed that perfectly. Ah! Oh, that tail! 
Uh, this guy's a... See, I can take him out with another weapon, but learning it with a greatsword is a little bit more difficult. I need to restock. I, adamant pill. I need my ancient. Okay. There's that. Okay. And then I need to eat more food, I think. Nope, I still have a f I still have enough food. Okay. Max potion. No, where's my Adam? Ancient. There you are. Okay, no more dying. We're gonna make our hits count a little bit better. No, that was the second death. Okay, I need to get back here. Damn it. Ooh. Oh, that did not hit me. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, that's so frustrating. Seventeen minutes and I didn't even get it into phase two. That sucks. I wish I could figure out what is going on with my keyboard that is causing this particular key to not fire off when it's supposed to. Cause trying to run right and then it doesn't run right sucks. And I'm pretty sure it's not the key cap. And I'm not trying to blame it on my equipment. Because that sucks, but... Oh, well. <sighs> What's that? No, I'm not frozen. I just had to try and see if I can get the D key to, to function a little bit better. I was playing with my D, honey. I know it sounds bad. That was a whole idea. What? What's going on? Oh, death. Oh, you. That's evil. You put a death counter on me? Is that what you're doing now? Oh. Oh. My wife. How dare you. Oh, you are too good to me. That's evil. All right. If that's how we're going to play. Harvest, harvest. Okay. Well, may as well fertilize and get this capped out. Where is it? Seven? Oh, that reminds me. I don't think I set my failings out. All right. So Divine, just a... Divine, do I know you as a, some other name? Like, I'm trying to remember what exactly I remember you from. Are you in... Which chat is it that uh, I know you from? Oh, yeah, I do need to make a new Tail Rider Safari. 400 points? What? Precious boy. Dingus. Dingus. Dingus, dingus, dingus. Man, I can't wait for Spyro to play, so then I can do a death counter on her. That would be hilarious. That's going to be in the triple digits. Shut up. That's what I got. Um, I need Kelby Horns, so I need... Yeah, I need this place. <laughs> oh, maybe I can get some more Odegar and stuff. So that'll be it. Oh, that's right. Year zero. Okay, cool. That's right. I can't remember if I actually played with you or not, but, uh, no, that's cool. Um, 
don't remember. I, maybe it was the uh, uh, SS-13 stuff. If it wasn't SS-13, then it was going to be something else. One of the two military... Oh, okay, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Now I remember. We, I think you and I had a little discussion. That's cool. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. What's... The difference between this and Dark Souls, as, as you can clearly point out, is that so Dark Souls is like a persistent world. This is more like instance world. Um, you've got a lot of targets that you have to still fight and everything, but you also have... Uh, Let's see, do I talk to you? I talked to you to go to the training center, right? Training area, yeah. But what's cool about this game is that you can... Um, <clears throat> you've got 14 different weapons. You don't have to pick them up from anywhere. You can craft the weapons. You can do whatever. And then you have this area where you can practice all those different things. So, Oh, two other folks? Okay. Cool. I can't see... Who they are offhand. Well, two other people. I'm glad that you're here and having a look. Uh, if you do want to participate, let me know. Okay. Additionally, with this game, you can do a lot of mobility things. So you can like climb up on these things and then. Do like jump slashes. You also got your obligatory rolls getting out of the way. But you can almost can you can consider this a uh Oh Gray. Gray is on here. Okay, I know where Gray's from. Yep. Uh I ten. I'm not sure where I know I ten from, but it doesn't matter. I am not prohibitive on who visits and watches. Not at all. Howdy. Yep, yep, yep. So, so that's Monster Hunter thing. We got a there's a big old expansion that's coming out later in January. It's already come out for the consoles. So I'm we're getting prepped for that. I go back to my room. What else do we have? You might uh, you might want to make the width of that from six hundred to like one thousand. But what's also cool is that you actually get your own little room. So everything in this room, I've found out in the world. So like this little jellyfish right here, this Arioptorix looking dino bird. Um, there's a beetle in the back right there. I've captured that. Um, the little rabbit-eared guy right here. He's a rare type of monster. So I picked him up. I found a big old cactuar for the Final Fantasy effect that was going on. Or event. If I touch him, though, he, uh, he gets angry and he explodes. <laughs> and then there's a big old tuna over there and a bombfish. But I can sit on this stuff and I can feed the birds if I want. And then the fish, he takes it. Oh, that's the golden one that I picked up. That's right. <clears throat> I went fishing for him. So, um... So what is Tomorrow Comes Today? Or Tomorrow Today Show? That is what we're looking to do with uh, All for Media and doing the radio show. And we actually have two programs we're going to start out with. Big Spider. We got two programs that we're going to start out with. Uh, I think we're going to start next week, if not this week, officially. Let's see, where's my bird? Because I can feed the bird too. Come here, get over here. Oh, the hummingbird is up there too. So I rest. And sometimes I'll walk over here, I can just feed them little treats. Yep, there he goes, hobbling over. Get you some meal. That's right. Om nom nom nom. Good job, buddy. This guy was a pain to catch because they, like, you have to wait for him to get on the floor, but they're always flying up top and bouncing between trees. What's that? I'm sorry. 
Yep. Oh, yeah, he's... Uh, I saw he was in the session itself. Um, you know what? Let me get into Discord here. Do, 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 do. Discord. Yep, I see him. There he is. Yep. That's fine. Yeah, I, do you... I'm going to ask him if he wants to actually be on microphone. I need to make sure he's okay with uh, being on the stream first before I do anything. Because I know he doesn't like talking too much unless he's within a trusted company. Let me know what he says. Alright. In the meantime, let's see... I need to see what I still need to collect. So what do I need? Let's go to my wish list. So what's cool about this is that you can pick up certain items and put them on your wish list so that you know what you need to pick up. So like, I need to fight Valhazak five times for these fangs, right? I need to kill Autogaron and hope I get this gem, which is kind of a rare drop. But you can see what you need to get and you can then figure out where you need to get that stuff. And you can also look how many things do I need to get to complete all my stuff. So I've got this, I've got this, I've got these, et cetera, et cetera. So I just need this gem, this this uh, stone, this gem, these claws from that big dinosaur that I just fought earlier and died to because of a stupid cheap hitbox. Um, I do need more of these. What, four more, and then I gotta fight Hal, uh, Val Hazak, which is an undead, an undead monster. He's dead. So I should go after this first because while it's technically rare to get, um, he's pretty easy to farm. This is stupid easy to get. All I gotta do for it is um, the fire cell stone. Where's the fire cells? I think I can just mine this, uh, but I don't remember. I'll have to I'll have to look it up online to see what I can do. Oh, um, so you were saying uh, um, for Dark Souls, the closest weapon to Dark Souls that you're gonna find in this game is gonna be a sword and shield. Because it allows you to do a lot of different things. So, um, let me have like weapons. So, sword and shield. That one gives you the most um, evasiveness out of them all, outside of doing dual swords or dual blades, rather. But I'm using this right now, the great sword. It's very, very heavy. It's very difficult because you have to time the things right. I'm still learning the timings, <clears throat> and I always want to go for that big old hit, so I get a little antsy sometimes. The hammer is fun because you can knock monsters out and put them on the ground. It's pretty hilarious. Um, and they just, they're just they just spinning around and smacking things around. Uh, they're, it's pretty awesome. Um, lances, if you like playing as like a heavy defensive character, lances are actually really, really cool for it. This is like an offensive lancer, the gun lance. It works on the same principle, but you actually get like explosions and... Um, some other attacks unique to it, like the worm stake. Think of it, the worm stake is like putting a rocket embedded into the creature's skin, and then it explodes. It's pretty cool. Uh, switch axe. It's a uh, a pretty intricate weapon. You use the uh, axe for range and to set up combinations to weaken the outsides of the monster, and then you have your heavy hitter with the actual great sword mode charge blade is kind of similar to the lance and the gun lance uh and the sword and shield you have a shield that is bladed and um 
the whole thing about it is that it's really, really uh, skill capped. Y you have to build up charges in your sword. You then have to dump those charges into your shield. You then have to um, um, send that power into the shield to give you a defense increase. And then you can also power up your sword. And when you build up all those energies, you start putting out massive amounts of damage in axe mode. So it's a sword and shield that can turn into a giant axe. And it hurts. It really does hurt. You set it up and you get the elemental discharge to happen. And things will die or get chopped off. Uh, Insect Glaive is pretty cool. Uh, my wife is actually learning that right now. Uh, this is your crouching tiger hidden. No, no, I'm sorry. Crouch, what is it? Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon? No, I think I'm saying that backwards. Am I being dyslexic? Probably. But anyways, if you see on all those those modern Chinese films where like they're jumping off bamboo shoots with a pole and um, doing all that nice stuff, that's what the Insect Glaive is like. You're jumping all over the place, uh, doing aerials and chopping them up while you're flying through the sky. Um, oh, Longsword. That's your weeaboo weapon. It's a big giant katana. Uh, it's pretty easy to use. Uh, landing damage gives you more damage increase. And it leads up to a large hit where you jump up into the sky and then you land with great force and it like hits the hits the enemy like six times as it hits on the bottom. Um, dual blades is another kind of weeaboo weapon. Um, you have two swords, you chop, 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 chop. It's very, very fast. They're very small hits, but they rack up. And what's really cool about them is that you can put, elef you can either put um, um, a, a, a CC weapon or a crowd control element to it, like stun or paralyze or poison. And the more times that it hits, it racks up the gauge that, in, uh, that starts that poison or paralysis to happen oh hey docs uh Hevrick. what's up buddy let's see here uh hey man tried jumping in but apparently my main web browser was giving me issues trying to log in so you're using firefox okay no that's fine um no worries it, it's as long as you're able to get in you know then i'm glad you're able to jump in you we need to get you monster hunter because i know you would enjoy this for sure uh you you would love this we need to get you this I don't know if the deal is still going on for if you haven't picked up monster hunter i think it's going for steam for 24 bucks at the moment maybe less i forget off the top of my head um outside of that oh uh, where was i um dual blades hunting horn hunting horn is pretty different it's a lot like the hammer but you play music as well and the music you can kind of think it's like a bard with a big old hammer they can buff the group they can heal them over time um they like to say it's a support weapon but this can honestly solo pretty well. It's great for crushing um, body parts, like breaking the armor of it and everything. So let's see what else we have. Uh, we've got the bow. It's your short to mid-range uh, attack weapon. It can be a heavy hitter or it can be a status weapon, which is really good to set up for paralysis and everything. The light bow gun is your range weapon where you can get in close or medium range. But you have mobility, so you can really move around a lot. And then the heavy bow gun is your long range to mid range weapon. This is if you want to be like Terminator with the minigun, blasting away at it, this is your weapon. If you want a heavy sniper, this is your weapon. It's super, super painful. Um, and when the hits land, it's very, very gratifying. You build up a gauge, too, that allows you to do those things, whether it's the Gatlin mode or during the heavy sniper mode. And it racks up damage really well. These can actually tank quite well, similar to the level as the Lance and the Gun Lance. So they're really nice. But yeah, um, if you want to get into the game pretty easily, Sword and Shield's really good to, eat, to learn. The Long Sword is really easy to learn. It's, does, it's not too difficult to figure out. Um, if you like being defensive, Lance and Gun Lance... Well, I would say Lance first and then move to Gun Lance. Uh, if you're coming from shooters, then either the Light Bow Gun or the Heavy Bow Gun are going to be your go-tos. Um, and then maybe Bow next. Only because the Light Bow Gun gives you more movement. 
This one limits your movement, but you can take hits and you can um, you can just land big damage. They're pretty consistent. Um, but when you want to actually start doing some really difficult stuff, or if you want to start challenging yourself, great sword, switch axe, gun lance, and charge blade are pretty high up there in terms of uh, skill gaps. And I'm trying to get better, so I'm using the big old great sword right now. And I have to learn not to rush the hits that I'm trying to do. Anyway, I have done enough of that. Let's see, what did um, Wolf say? Nope, he hasn't said anything yet. Okay, cool. Um, if he says something, we'll find out. Okay, let's go. Oh, shoot, looks like I missed the sale. Oh yeah, the humble bundle. Well, it was on Steam for twenty four bucks too. I don't know if Steam is still doing the sale for it. Let me check. Maybe they are. I don't know. I, I don't remember. But I'll. Okay. Well, Spyro's gonna take a peek and she'll have an answer. Okay. So. Gathering hub. It's a regular price. Oh, he says he gets paid on the 5th or 6th. That's what's going on. Okay. Well, you know what? Um, for another day or two. You know what? I could... Tell you what. I can get the game for you now. I'll gift it to you. And then if you want to pay me back later, you can do that. How about that, Havrick? You want to do that? Because then I can get you into the game. We can play. You can learn with us. While we talk about stuff for our comic and um, the shows that we have coming up. Sure. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, cool. Uh, if we'll do that, then what I will do is um, let's. I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to leave the screen on here. You can still hear me talking, but I'm going to see about setting up that sort of deal. Let's see. Probably best to do it through Steam because... Okay, Steam. You could, yeah. But you're going upstairs. Let's see. For now, let's remove this. I want to buy it, but I'll buy it later. Uh, store. I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure I do. Yeah, Divine, if you pick it up too and you want to play with us, by all means, um, we're more than welcome to take you in. Um, let's see here. Steam. Library. Monster Hunter World. Go to the store page. Do, 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 do. Add to cart. This is going to be a gift. Now I just got to find you in my Steam list here. Ravi, don't be so loud. Um, if you can, Havrick, um, can you send me your Steam name in Discord as a private message? No? Okay, so then I need to add you. Okay. So let me go back here real quick. Yeah, in Discord, if you can send me a message, and then I'll, I'll uh, get your Steam name. And then we'll sort out. Okay, cool. So I will grab this name, go into Steam, friends and chat, add the plus sign, it's searching. Uh, no. 
no, it's not showing up as that. Hmm. Do you have like a, a, a different name that you put onto your, your Steam? That's probably your root name, which is fine, but it's not showing up as that. So if you change your, your display name in there, that's probably what I'm going to need. Or if you go to Steam, if you go to Steam and you, um, uh, what is it? You start, you go to Steam and, um, when you go to community, you should have your friend's information. Oh, uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I have it backwards. You click on the friends list. You click on the plus friend, add a friend, and it says your friend code, right? So I'm going to copy this friend code. I'm going to send it here. I'll check for Heverick, but let me see. Hold on. Yep, there it is. Add as friend. Yay, fries are done. Welcome back, Gray. Let's see. Now then, I need to get back into Steam. Go back to the store where I was. Purchase as a gift. That's right. Find Hev. There you are. Ding. Yep, and that's on my checking. Okay, good. Oh, yeah. Um, the bird in the background that you heard, that is, uh, that's a little parakeet. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. Cockatiel, cockatiel. We were looking at getting a parakeet, but they weren't as interactive as we wanted. So we got a cockatiel. It's a nice uh, white and gray speckled cocktail so she he's 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 pretty he's pretty cool okay so did he talk back no he hasn't talked back yet okay cool i can delete that now he doesn't talk yet actually <laughs> what's funny uh, so he pays attention to what gets attention. He's kind of smart. He's dumb in other things. He's dumb as a rock. But um, when it comes to figuring out what gets attention, he listens to different things that gets our attention. The two things that he likes to mimic is the microwave and the uh, stove timer, since we use those the most. So he'll go... And he'll, he'll just do that just to get our attention. <laughs> It's hilarious. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, now that we've got that done, um, I wonder, is... I should be able to see who else is in my session, if I recall correctly. Who's in this session? Stickers chat. I think he's still in. Um, in a high-level event. Okay. Okay, Hebrick. Cool, cool. Um, it's going to take a little bit for you to get through because you have a couple of preliminary missions that you need to do. Monster Hunter World is a little weird. Um, you have to get past certain story elements until we can, you can have people join you. But I don't know. They decided that that's how they wanted to go. Oh, okay, cool. Wolf is back. Um, chat.
There we go. Oh, and Ron has jumped in. Huzzah! Well, this is this is this is not really an MMO. I, I would say, if anything, it's more like MMO light because everything is instanced. Oh, there's. Oh, cool. He did join in the call. Okay, there we go. Yay! Woof. 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 All right. Um. I need to check your level to make sure that you are heard. heard. Okay, so I got your volume at 200%. Oh, uh, that should be okay. Check your level. I have to check my character level. <laughs> well, I was talking about your, your voice level. Uh, and then I should add Ron to the call because he's getting ready to join. What's that, Han? Oh, you're showing a picture of the bird? Okay, so in the top left corner, you can see a picture of the burb. This is Revy uh, from a little while ago, and his mouth is stuffed full of... Uh, I think that's spinach, right? Yeah, spinach. He loves spinach. So yeah, that's Revy. That's our flying raptor. Um, I should add Ron. Where's Ron? I'm going to add... Uh, he's trying to call me right now. Hold on. Okay, so I'll add him this way now. Um, um, hello. We, hello. Well, we're going to have to test, test something with this. Since, since we have Discord open, I wonder if it's... Uh, gonna double capture people's voices uh, I'll have to figure out how that one works hold on Ow. okay that's right I don't have much room okay uh wolf go ahead and say hi hello hello okay cool that works and I don't hear you doubling so that's cool and Spyro's in the call too so all right cool Yep, I'm here. I was just muted. No, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, and Hevrick says that uh, we melted his mom's heart with the picture of Revy. Which reminds me, I should add... Hev, I'm going to send the call to you. Or I'm going to add you to a group, rather. You don't have to join the call just yet, but that way you have it available. There we go. So... Once you get the game and everything, we can then add you to the voice call and you can um, participate. So there's that. So there's Ron. There's that. Um, hey, Wolf. There you are. With your big old katana. Let's see. I may as well eat some stuff. So I know we went a little bit further with uh, Wolf. We just need to go a little bit. Oh, it's Fotus. Hey, Fotus, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, this dude. I'm being all crazy. Look at me. So anyway, so we got Wolf, and Ron's getting online now. Um, we're did we? Uh, I know Ron's a little bit behind just because we've done a couple things with Wolf Singer, so we can um work on getting Ron built up. Uh, something I recommend to Ron, uh, the last expansion actually gave you a set of armor that you need to buy uh -huh. that is actually pretty good. It's called the Defender set. Okay. It will help your survival capacity until we can build up some uh, offensive gear for you. I told you, Fotis. I told you, if you if you get this game, I will work with you on the nights that I'm off, or during the evenings, and I will help you build up so that you don't have to like intensely farm and grind. I've got a I've got a nice little guide that brings you up into HR 30 
in relative amount of hours. Plus the defensive uh, armor that has come out. The uh, defender set, which is what Wolfsinger here is wearing right now, is pretty good for all the low rank stuff. Is that the um, the armor that you had the option of starting with? Uh, no, I don't think it? so. This is stuff you have to buy. Well, I didn't have to buy it. it, it I had it. Well, I got it already. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. Well, then, yeah. Then yeah. I had to buy it, so. Uh-oh. Oh, so uh, in the top left corner, if you haven't seen already... Uh, Oh, wait, no, she hasn't set it up yet. So she's prepping a picture. Uh, we're getting ready to show you all of our different aminals. Um, our next picture that she's got lined up to melt your mother's heart, Hevrick, is Where our buddy Kirill. <laughs> Kirill is our husky. And this is a... I think this is... He was still under a year old. Where, where are you showing these? Uh, on our stream. I will send you the link to our stream. You might want to mute it, but you can you can see it. Let's see. Is it? No, that's not it. That's not it. Here we go. So what gear is everybody using? So you, I would like I said I would recommend using the uh, defender kit for now. Wolf Singer is also using the defender kit, and I'm using a mishmash of. Uh, stuff for the weapon I'm using at the moment, which is the, the great sword. Oh yeah, he's he's a talker all right. He'll let you know that when he has to use the bathroom or when he has to do stuff. We actually trained him so that when he has to use the bathroom, he'll go to the front door and he'll tap his claws onto it. He gets a little confused because he'll actually put his paws up on top of the shoe box that we have because it makes more noise. But yeah, so what we'll do is we'll team up with, we'll, we'll help Ron first and get him up to the same story elements that you are, Wolf. Um, yeah. Ron, when you get a chance, come up to the celebration area or the community hub, which is, I think, All on the right. fifth floor. And I will be right back for a second. I'm going to leave the screen here, but I'll be right back. <laughs> 